जय हिंद अभिमन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर वन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास टेन एन सी आर टी तो चैप्टर नेम इज डेवलपमेंट एंड दिस वर्ड इज वेरी ब्रॉड लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द इंट्रोडक्शन डेवलपमेंट मीन्स वेल बींग एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ फॉर अ कम्युनिटी बाई क्रिएटिंग न्यू अपॉर्चुनिटी इन द सोसाइटी Now, development is overall upliftment, overall development, overall improvement for the entire society. Now, is this is very common for all. If we talk from person to person, the developmental goals may be very different. For example, what may be development for me may not be development for you, and so on. Therefore, as there are different people, or we can say different communities. or different states or even nations the developmental goal are different for one person or one identity to the other so the first part of the chapter starts with categorizing people and how they are different in terms of when they are setting their life goals or their developmental goals so for a landless labor Uh, the developmental goal may be more days of work or better wages local school is able to provide quality education for their children this could also be a goal for the rural landless labor because the person is landless the next one there is no social discrimination and they too can become leaders in the village so as they are landless and are not holding much much proportion or capital in the village so they want that even their position might get better with time in the village or the locality they are residing in the next person urban rich boy the developmental goal of such a boy could be to earn more to expand the business or production to be popular to be famous something like that next one the developmental goal of a adivasi or a tribal person protected area that nobody interferes in the zone they are residing in non interference by government that whatever they are doing it should not be interfered it should not be disturbed by any external body or to find resources for daily life whatever resource they want they are getting from the forest or the nearby zone so they want to get the resources for their uh, day to day needs last one girl from a rich urban family now uh, the goal for such a girl might be to get a, a much uh, to get as much freedom as her brother is getting and uh, able to decide what she wants to do in life and she is able to pursue her studies abroad so these could be some of the goals similarly you can imagine more goals and more people and uh, think about what can be the goals for them Now, a very important concept that comes here is destructive or conflicting goals. Now, what is this destructive goals or conflicting goals? Now, goal is not same for everyone, and similarly, some goals could be conflicting. Now, conflicting goals means nothing but if somebody wants something for his or her development, and this development hinders the development of the other person then such a goal is a conflicting goal so let's start with the example the first point a girl expects as much freedom and opportunity as her brother and that is he also shares in the household work her brother may not like this now this is developmental goal for this girl but for this boy this may not be the developmental goal because he might not want that the sister might also get the same freedom as he is having so this is individual or personalized view but this is conflicting second example is from a uh, national point of view from two different categories one industrialist and the other one is uh, people living nearby a tribal area now to get more electricity industrialists may want more dams the other part but this may submerge the land and disrupt the lives of people who are displaced such as tribes so again the goals are conflicting here what a industrialist want is 
different from what a person who is residing where the dam would be constructed would want. Similarly, whenever there is uh, setting up of uh, new factories or setting up of a new uh, tracks, so many people have to give up it, their homes who were earlier who earlier used to reside there. So here they both want development, but their goals are different. For someone, it is to decide wherever they are living. Whereas for the one who wants construction, it may be conflicting. It is very important that we do not start thinking that different goals or conflicting goals are the same thing. They both are different. Everybody can have different goals, but everybody will not have conflicting goals. Conflicting goal is only when two goals are crossing each other and two goals are not actually uh, thinking alike when they are conflicting each other's views. Now, reservation for some in colleges or job can be beneficial for them, but others may not support it. Like in the case of reservation as we have in our country, so those who are getting these reservations are in the favor of this reservation. This is development for them. But those who are not getting the development, they do not want to the, they do not want the government to continue this reservation. They may, th they may uh, think that when would this reservation system finish in, in our country. But again, our point over here is to see that this is a conflicting goal. Different person can have different developmental goals. What may be development for one may not be development for the other. It may even be destructive for the other. So that is why these goals are called destructive goals or sometimes conflicting goals. Coming to the next topic from the chapter, income and other goals, common goals or the non-material goals. Now this is very very clear that we cannot sustain without money or income. But there are other things in life which are non-material, which are not materialistic, but still we require them in our life for better life, for quality life. And these things are common to all. These things are common goals. What are they? They are equal treatment, freedom, security and respect. Respect from each other and all these things. This is very mutual and every individual on this planet wants this. They are not talking about deserving or not deserving. But this is what everybody wants from inside. That they should be respected, they should be treated equal, there should be freedom and there should be security of life. So they are common goals or non-materialistic goals. Materialistic goal is to earn income which is essential for life. And similarly these are also important in our life and we refer to them common goals or non-materialistic goals. Now uh, going to the third point, money or material things that can buy with it is one factor on which our life depends but the quality of our life also depends on non-material things for example the first example if you get a job in a far off place before accepting it, it would, you would try to consider many factors apart from income such as facilities for your family working atmosphere opportunities to learn so this is one case when the person is getting a job which is far off. So when the job is quite far off from the person's native place, so he will also consider the other factors that are coming with this job. Now the uh, an another case, it could be a job may give him less pay but may offer him regular employment that enhances your sense of security. Now regularity in employment is another good factor that a person looks for when he is searching for a job and if that job may not be giving him that much salary but is giving him the sense of security then definitely people do make such choices in life when they prefer these common goals instead of the materialistic or income or money goals. Let's have a look at the second example. It is true that if women are engaged in paid work their dignity in the household and society increases. However, it is also the case that there is respect for women, there would be more sharing of household work and greater acceptance of women 
working outside a safe and secure